Today we are going to see pricing schema. Pricing schema. SAP MM. Pricing procedure. Procedure. SAP SD. It is SAP SD. Calculation schema. Calculation schema or calculation procedure. SAP FI. Concepts are all same only. In all the three. Condition technique. Condition technique. Picking up the definition for this is picking up best value value from available option. That is available options. That is condition technique. SAP's backbone is condition technique. SAP's backbone is condition technique. So we are going to see this pricing scheme. Let's go to ME21N. Purchase order creation. Let me create a purchase order and show you. Disconnected. ME 21 N. Let me select supplier. Compression RC program will be terminated. You think they have changed it? They have changed something. Let me enter supplier. Let me enter purchase E and zero. Let me enter material. My plant is D and zero. We take this quantity 10 D and 0. Let me enter price. So, this 1100 PBXX. So, there are certain steps is running behind the behind the uh, in SPRO settings. So that procedure we are going to see now, PBXX procedure. Okay, let me take this supplier. Let me take this supplier. Let me take this material, double one, three, nine, two. <clears throat> okay, now let's go to slash and SPR. SAP reference IMG. Go to, go to material management. Purchasing. Go to purchase order. Here conditions. Let's go to conditions. Go to conditions. Let's see conditions here. Please order. Sorry. Here itself. Conditions. Conditions. Not inside purchase order. In material management, conditions. Define pricing determination process. Mm -hmm. So the first step is first step is condition table. Condition table. Condition. Condition table. Second is access sequence. Third is Condition type. Condition type. Step three. Condition type. Fourth is pricing schema. Calculation schema.
schema. Put this define schema group. Define schema group. Schema group. Sixth is schema determination. Schema determination. Schema determination. Finally, scheme condition record creation. Record creation. Creation. In transaction code MEK1. Transaction code MEK1. So, first is condition table. I'm going to create a condition table. So, 1 to 500 is SAP stable. We cannot uh, create or modify. So, 500 to 999 is user defined. 500 to 999 is user defined. So, first is condition table. Where is the condition table here? See and maintain condition table. Create condition table. Any table above 855 present. Okay. See, yes, this is field catalogs, which will be having field catalogs. Okay. Fields, which will be having fields. Condition table will be having fields. Field is purchase organization, page down and page up only work. Will work. Go to purchase organization, double leg, page down, vendor material. Vendor material. Page down. Sorry, supplier, supplier. Supplier and material, page up. Material. So the meaning for this is purchase organization 0 D and 0 1. Supplier, this supplier, this supplier, this is the supplier. And for this material, I'm going to give pricing. This is the meaning. Now, click on to generate. Press enter to generate. Yes. Local object. Save it in local object. See, I have created 855. 855. 855. 855. Now access sequence. I want to create access sequence. Second step, access sequence. See and define access sequence. Define access. Continue. New entry. A855. A855. Access sequence. I'm going to create A855. Access sequence. Description and description 855. 855. Present. Present. Select onto this. Double click onto accesses. New entry. Number one. 855. Table. So this table. 855. 855. This table. I'm entering it here. Press enter. Continue. Continue. Press enter. Now select onto this line item, double click onto this fields and press enter. Only then it gets generated. Now save it. A855. Continue. Now come back. Come back. Press escape to come more. Now condition type. Condition type. I'm going to create Z855. Condition type. Go to define condition type. See a set condition type. Double link. Now, let me take it from PBXS. Position PBXS. I'm going to copy S. Select copy S. Z855. 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 Access sequence A855. I have to give it here. Access sequence. So it's a chain of reaction. It's a chain of reaction. We have to keep on adding one at a time. A855. Access sequence. 
press enter and save it. Cross press. Continue. Now come back. Schema procedure. Next is schema procedure. Calculation schema. Z855 ZZ. I'm going to give that. Now go to set calculation schema purchasing. This one. Click onto this. Now, one minute. Let me check RM. These are all standard SAP standard. These are all standard. RM starts with RM. Now, now new entry. Let's go to new entry. Set calculation schema. New entry. Procedure is Z855 ZZ. Pricing procedure Z855 ZZ. Present. Select onto this. Double link onto controls. New entry. Step one. My condition type is Z855. Z855. Print X. I just wanted to print it X. Yes. Subtotal nine item with pricing. Subtotal nine gross value item with price. Press enter, enter and save it. Continue. After this, purely assignments one. Come back. Come back and then define schema groups. Define schema groups. Supplier schema group. First is supplier schema group. Let me enter two letter alpha number. Supplier schema group. Supplier schema group. I'm going to enter C1. New enter. New enter. C1. Vendors group group. Save. Description. I am just giving any description. C1. Now, purchase organization schema group. C111. Let me enter C111. 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 Purchase organization C triple seven. Continue. Now come back. Now assign schema group to purchase organization. My purchase organization DN zero. DN zero. See us in DN zero one. I'm going to enter C triple one. C triple one. If you are entering something different, it will not happen. Love you. C triple one. And save it. Continue. Come back. Closes. Now, schema determination. Define schema determination. Finally, schema determination. See, determine calculation schema for standard purchase order. New entry. My schema group purchase organization C triple one. Schema group supplier C one. My purchase pricing schema is this one. Let me enter, press enter, and save it. Continue. Now come back. Close this. Finally, MEK one. I have done all this step. 
finally MEK1. MEK1. Let me go to, let me open another screen. MEK1. What's my condition type? This is my condition type. This is my condition type. Present. What's my purchase organization? DN01. My material, let's enter the material. This is my material. Let's enter 1,555 euros. Now seven. Now let me go to the BP transaction code. Go to slash and BP. Here, vendor vendor number. Let me take the vendor number, supplier number. This is my supplier number. Double click onto the supplier number. Display change. Go to purchasing. Customer, vendor, sorry. Go to purchasing, purchasing tab, and let me enter vendor group here. Where is the vendor group here? Purchasing data. See here, vendor group, C1. C1, vendor group. Press enter, and save it. Control S, save. Now I'm going to check it in PO, slash and ME 21 yen. Let me enter the purchase order number, sorry, supplier number 42. Supplier number DN01, enter purchasing group, enter material. Enter quantity, quantity, see here, go to conditions, you will be able to see the condition type, see here, Z855 as well. So, this value you are getting it by running all these steps, system is run, it's running all the steps at once and bringing the, all these steps it is getting, it's running. I'm getting the value of 155, 155. Got it, sir? Now enter storage location and you can save it. And save it. Got it, sir?